to another edition of How to Cook Your Catch. I'm Chef Jason at Shoal Blom Beach. Uh, we just got off a trip on the Amigo a couple days ago. We got some wonderful sheephead, so we're going to be showing you how to make some sheephead ceviche. So, first off, what you're going to want to do is when you get the fish, you're going to want to pat it dry. It's going to come with the skin on it. That way you can uh, know what kind of fish it is, so you're going to want to remove that. From there, there are going to be some pin bones that run along the backbone here. What I like to do, you can pull them out with tweezers, or I like to just cut it out. That's the way I get it at the restaurant. So we'll set that to the side. You can kind of see and feel where the pin bones are. So that is trash. And then from here, it all depends on the size you want it. I usually do about a half inch. So we're gonna slice it. If it does get a little too long, you can always double back on itself. Here's our other nice clean piece. And then from there, we're gonna dice it. And as you can see, the inside is very opaque and beautiful. I already have some that I already had chopped. This is gonna be a lime juice. And this is what you're gonna to use to cook the fish. Now, depending on how raw you want the fish, you can do this for as long as 45 minutes, or excuse me, as short as 45 minutes, or up to overnight or 24 hours. I like to do it 24 hours. And then what I would like to do is kind of stir it up every couple hours or so just to make sure all the fish is covered with lime juice. So from there, you'll put this in the refrigerator. I've already have some here prepped for us that I did last night. And we'll start with our bowl here. Now with this, you're gonna to wanna to start with onions. These are sliced, you can also dice them. We're gonna add our lime juice. This will start cooking the onions for us right away. We'll knock down a little bit of the flavor and make it a little sweeter. And from here, you can add a lot of different items, but I like to add some cucumber because I have some Persian cucumbers. Always gotta add tomato. Jalapenos. These are seeded jalapenos. If you want it spicier, you don't have to seed it. Um, you can also keep this separate and add it to make it as spicy as you need it, depending on um, a person's preference. Um, the next item we're gonna add is gonna be cilantro. And then from here, we're gonna stir this up a little bit. See, we have a lot of beautiful color here. The smell is wonderful. Oh, uh, we don't want to forget our salt and pepper. We'll start to get the juices coming out. And don't worry if there's not enough liquid in here right now with the lime juice. What will happen is it'll start cooking the vegetables and all the liquid will come out. So you'll have onion juice and cucumber juice and that kind of stuff. So, um, next step is to add the fish. Uh, this was left over, or what I did last night. So this has been done for about 12 hours. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of liquid still in here. You can use this liquid if you like. I like to pour it off so it's not so fishy. Um, but if you like it to be a little more fishy, you're welcome to use it. It has a lot of uh, nutritional benefits. So if you do want to keep it. I actually poured some of this off so there's a little bit left in here and I need a little more juice. So I'll just put it all in here. As you can see, there's not a whole lot. Well, you can see all the beautiful colors. And if you like more of anything, more cucumber, more tomato, you're welcome to add more. It's completely up to you. A good way to start off with equal parts of everything. And from here, I'm sure it's going to need a little more salt. And from here, we'll wrap this and put it in the refrigerator for another hour or two or up to overnight. Um, the longer it sits, uh, the more it's going to cook the fish. So the sooner you eat it, the more tender the fish will be. So just know that. So you want to eat it fairly quickly um, and not let it sit too long. So from there, we'll put this in the refrigerator. We'll pull it out and serve it up.
This is so beautiful. Look at that. Oh. Wow. That's sheep bed. Amazing. Beautiful. This is the best birthday I've had for a long time. 66. More to come. Thank you everyone for watching another episode of How to Cook Your Catch. Please come join us here at Shoal sometime. And to let you know, sheephead is a great fish to eat. So don't let anybody tell you wrong, ceviche or seared or any other way. It's a great fish to enjoy. We enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed it as well.